about all kinds of food. She has been partying her butt off at the Democratic Convention, driving around in limousines. She, man, yeah, she's been looking like a 20th century fox, 21st century fox, too. Now she's kind of gotten down to the, the nitty gritty. Right, baby? Right, baby. Okay, there she is. Check her out. Look at this. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Uh huh. She's so cute. Check her out. Real quick, you can just stick it in your purse. She brought all this food. Got all this stuff going for all these people. Got about, I don't know, nine or ten bottles of stuff. Like Jägermeister. Yeah, this is Jägermeister. Yeah. Oh, okay. She doesn't like drinking at all. She doesn't not drink at all, but she does like to eat. This is food. This is food going in her mouth. Oh, coming to me. See, I'm eating. The captain is on board. Uh, who's the captain? Well, let's look at the hat here. This does say the captain. This is. That is the captain. Our spiritual leader, baby. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, oh shake it, baby. Shake it. Shake it. Mm -hmm. She is eating. Back from Switzerland. Oh, you yeah, did? I like oh, that. That's right. compact. Oh, nice. Now you can talk because we're, it actually uh, hears what you're saying. So. Okay. We're now talking to Calvin Rockwell, who could not get into the Jesse Jackson Jr. party because he did not have patience last night. And I called him to tell him all he needed to do is show his fabulous credentials. Did you get a message? You know what? That was you? That was me. Man, wait a minute, wait a minute. I turned around to tell you, come on. I, we in. They said, oh, come on in. And then Tanya was outside. What? And they said, she can't get in because she don't have a credential. I said, Tanya, go to the car. I walked in, right? Right. Blair Underwood, Tavis Smiley, right. Amistad. Uh, right. Now, all the celebrities oh, was there. Right. All the celebrities were there. I was like, yeah. And I turned oh, yeah, and I called you and Harold was just bumping. <laughs> <laughs> and I called, I went back, I said, Harold, give me the phones so I can call Calvin and Dr. Samuels to tell them they could get oh, in. And you guys did not pick, and then your mailbox was full. Yeah, oh yeah, that's what somebody else just told me. I, I'm gonna take care of that. But I'm be honest with you, I was out of it. Really? You know, what happens is that uh, the way this convention works, it fires up on Saturday. So Saturday and Sunday are big days where everybody parties and gets caught up. And then Monday is when they kick off. And so really by the time you go through Saturday and Sunday, so you have the key is to get it on Friday. And then Saturday and all day Saturday, all day Sunday, or getting early Sunday morning, Saturday morning. And then by the time you hit Monday, man, you are blown. Because all the parties we ran to, over the course of the week, I mean, we started out at Crustacean on, on, on a, a Saturday evening, and I had that Dungeness Crab. Man, I'm just, that was so good. I wanted to get back there, but I couldn't get back there. Because we were too just, it's too much, too, too much stuff. Yeah, it's too much. Too much. To I mean, it's really Hal and Urban was bumping. Oh, yeah. But see, they bump. But see, them boys, <laughs> see, they understand that they, they, in this game, you've got to be able to work at night. You've got to be able to socialize. Socializing is the key. And then the other key is for us, being African American, African American. Now, granted, y'all went to the black thing last night, but really the key is you got to socialize with the white folk. Because yeah. the white folk will be the ones that can really get the power. Right. I mean, the juice is coming to them, and then they maybe some black folk get identified, but they always like to go to the white folk. Right. So why not get with these white folk early, know them, socialize with them, and you take a guy like Harold, for instance, who is for the Clinton years, we had great access. All the white folk came our way. But now a lot of the white folk that we made, I mean, people that start off as pages, Gophers for us. I mean, like, for instance, we got a guy we ran into last night while we were waiting. Are you standing right there with us? He works for Contrast, Connecticut. Well, four years ago, this boy was one of my gophers. Oh. Well, turns out, now he's out of Connecticut. <laughs> Lieberman, Jew. And look, if they win, he know he got him a White House appointment. 
So when it, when it flips around, we'll be calling them up talking about I know, I'm you owe looking. Us. That's just that's you. Know what I'm saying. Too much, too much. You try to meet as many white folks as you can. With my cousin Joe, Joe. Joe, do you know I am monitoring Joe, Dick, Dick Gregory theory. No, let me give you Dick Gregory theory. Dick said that today. No, 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 no. I'm talking about the election. The election, right? Um, um, you know, a lot of people don't think that Gore's going to win. And he said the economy has never been better. Clinton brought us great prosperity. He said something's wrong. Anytime your grandma make the best biscuits and fried chicken in town, and I come to your grandma because I've never had fried chicken and biscuits that good, and your grandma die and leave the recipe to you, just because you don't have luster, why am I going to cross over in the middle of the stream and go get some biscuits and fried chicken from somebody I don't know what they cook? He said something's wrong. Don't make no sense. Oh, he broke it down this morning. Um, he wasn't speaking. We were just having breakfast with, um, you know, Tommy Lasardo and Mark Gallardo. Because he's doing a deal with them too. Tommy Lasardo, basically. Mm-hmm. Right, right. You know, I don't know. He's doing some great things right now. He, he's getting ready to come out with something really major. He's getting ready to come out with some real major projects right now. Health and. Um, yeah, he's, he's, you know, his, his nutrition thing, his cancer thing is 75% knocked down, only has 25%. He's going to do an interview on my broadcast and break the news. He did an interview with Joe Madison and broke the news that his cancer, nobody knows that his cancer is 75% knocked down. All he has is 25% left, which is really 10% because everybody has 15%. No, 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 uh-uh, lymphoma. Uh-huh. But he's doing great. His energy is high. He looks good. You know, he's running fast and he's making deals. And God is blessing him. 68. He'll be 69 October the 12th. And um, Bill Cosby is hosting a tribute. I'll give you the information out of my car. It's in DC. At the Kennedy Center. Okay, yeah. I'll give you the information. Okay. 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 Oh yeah, you own. You own. Is that a video? Yeah, you own. It records our voices and everything. Wow. That is so nice. Tell the Democratic National Congress. Talk to me, baby. Oh, you're a preacher. Oh, look at here. Oh, look at here. Can I get a witness? Ah! The women put themselves 245 pounds, twisted steel, and sex appeal. The women's pet, Negroes regret. Human heart throb. Kiss a woman like this. West, East, and out of Orange Mouth. I can't think of any sound. On my way to be renowned, I am the Negro with the plan. Me, the mysterious element. Stick my thing in the ground and turn this whole sap sucker around. Yeah, I say I can do these kinds of things. And I'm from the South, y'all. You understand? Don't take my breath! I won't, but I'll give you breath. <laughs> <laughs> She's messing with me. <laughs> <laughs> Lord, you ain't going nowhere. You ain't getting off the boat. Oh, I'm, I'm man. breaking both your legs and I'm throwing the food in the ocean. You need to get me a drink so I can. Oh, okay, let me oh, well, that's get not a me problem. A drink so I can <laughs> what you like, baby? Get anything strong, just make it. <laughs> Go take this up there and, and, and view them for me, honey. Is it on? All right. Hold on a minute. Oh, watch out to that. What we got here? Hold on. <laughs> All eyes on you. Oh. Joe, must we be on camera? Yes, you must. Right I want proof. Tang right. right. Fine. I want proof. I want TV radio. Oh. 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 Not us, but I'm saying they kept it going as a sidebar while they went off and did the dirt. And that's why I can't let the Republicans off the hook. I've got to remember. Right. Right. 
and then the bottom line, it goes back to what Carmel said in 92. When Bush didn't do it, the bottom line, he said, if the real issue is the economy. Right. You can ask that That's the question. real issue. Are you better off yeah. than what you were uh, uh, nine years ago? Mm -hmm. The question is yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And as long, so that's what we ought to be running on. So tell me about the women, <laughs> a woman's uh, sexual orientation. Because the reality of it, if I really jumped on Bush, that's right. I'll pull out all this Hispanic right. action. I mean, I, and my part, right. the problem I got there with you Gore, go, Joe. what the problem I got with Gore is that Gore's been so timid to do oh, what Joe he knows. Kevin. I'm saying, God, now I like the man. Send your lieutenants out there and take him out. No, that's not wrong. But I'm just I saying, we know all this stuff. But Gore's sitting back to my hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I don't want to go yet. And you can't hold up. Because while you holding up, you they out there firing away. That's and before you, by the time you make the decision to go, it's too late. They done jumped out ahead of you. Look, these people had us by 17 no way. points. After they came out and they did the parts of the convention. If it wasn't for the fact that he put even on the ticket, man, he made up a uh, lot He made up 14 points in one day. One stroke. 14 points. Now, the truth of the matter is this. <laughs> oh, well, let me cut this off. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no date. Put, putting my business on themselves. I'm telling you, you go out there. You are going to have to Let's see, uh, trash can is uh, right there, yeah. Or uh, pull any one of these bags out. Okay. Oh, okay. We got lots of 
lots of bags here. Just have to kind of mince through it all there, yeah. Have any film here or not? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> How's she doing? She doing all right? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I said the captain and Neil said, you know Neil, you know we're doing all right with the captain. <laughs> Just, that's just like Ike yeah, without Tina, you know. What would Ike be without Tina? Just a little song bitch rolling Roll. down the river. Right, right. You understand? Just rolling. Right just rolling. Just rolling. Oh, rolling. Oh, rolling. Oh, rolling. Oh, rolling down the river. I left a good job in Memphis. Ready for a place in Aberdeen. I miss New Orleans. But I never get the good side of the city because everything I had always shit. <laughs> yeah, man. Hi, <laughs> boy. Yeah, brothers and sisters. I love it, baby. I love it right away. Uh, yeah, now that would be what I need because I'm a lot to the boys. Since my mom been born. There you go. Yeah, my baby. Hey, you're cooking. Hey, you ready? You ready? You ready? Tell me something, uh, 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 Avis. The light. The light. We're in the light, baby. Oh, I love you. <laughs> Talk to us, Joe. Know about something he's giving you. <laughs> Talk to us, Joe. Know whether it was a long time he gave you or a short time he gave you. Well, I want to make sure it was a good time that he gave you. To the end of the rainbow. Pay attention, baby. You may mess up. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. It makes me work better. Touch me. Set a towel before I get some Well, he got some juice. I understand. I'm one, but I'm not. Tell him, baby. I'm twice. Tell him, baby. I don't know. Right I'm three times. Quadruple in Spanish. Right well. Right well, I can love you. To let you know, I don't sing, but I don't, I'm a clarinet. What? Mm -hmm. So my words. Yes, you are. Okay. 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 Right well, I don't know my words. Three times. Tell me. Tell him! I love you. If you don't say genuine statements, they're going to be elected in a third party. I love you. Do you love me, Robin? I love you, baby. I love you, baby. I love you like a hog love slop, baby. <laughs> I know it's true. I know it's true. We love this over here. We own this button over here. Sing it, sister. Go, don't play. Sing the song. I hear you. Sing the song. No, no, no. I'm not doing that. Don't put it too hard. Don't put it too hard. Don't put it too hard. Thank you. 
I'm going to have you take it around the block once behind this guy. Okay. Yeah. Start slow it down a bit and uh, get in the back of him and then swing around. He slowed the throttle down. No, you didn't just slow that throttle down. He did that without prompting. He slowed the throttle down. You know, brothers know about thrust, baby. <laughs> Wait a minute, they Joe. They know when to slow no, it down and when to speed it up. They have the right yeah, of If they will obey, they know how to slow their way. So, you know, you can turn it around so that you go inside of them. Okay, um, Joe, you took a course in, 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 in so rhymes, uh, right? You gifted? You gifted? You tell me that this is natural. It's gifted. It's natural. Okay, Joe. It's natural. I have uh, enough it stuff to do probably about 10 books. I, I Looks like he's going to go straight. I just stuff it with him. Have you written any books? Yeah, we can do it that way. I have the material to do it. I have enough stuff to do. Do 10. You I should want to do. print them now. I want to go to print this year for this time. So That's what I'm trying to do, go to print. Oh, you, can you make okay. it on the side of the book? I'm trying to shop. Okay. Always shop, 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 shop. Okay. You can do it, man. Yeah. This guy is the man. Oh, let me get him, yeah. let me get him rustling. Oh, Rodwell. Working hard, Rodwell. Working hard, baby. Working hard, baby. Working hard, baby. All right, now bring it back around. Now it's okay. Yeah, working hard. Now, you got it, you get it. Working hard. I'm going to help you get back and get the cover. Yeah. I hear you, Joe. Yeah, you're gonna have you to put a hump in your back and you're gonna hump in some things. You put a hump in for a hump. Get over there. Ooh, please. Really? I thought you worked for a truck line. You need to take your butt fishing. Good. Very good. Oh, oh, oh he's been fishing. Oh. Oh. He's got yeah, he needs to go for a hump. You can just use those throttles as you want that to do what you need to do. He does. He does. He doesn't go enough. So that I could share this, so that we could all share this together. Well, you know, the bottom line is, well, you know what it's all about. Tell you know, Sandra the, the sun's uh, going down and, and Rodwell. Tell Rodwell. Those are the only two people have waved at us. Hi! Hi! Two, three. Rodwell. Oh, you're missing it, man. It's going down fast. There she goes. Oh, wow. Here, 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 Joe, take some pictures. Evening's fun, it's singing low. The clock on the wall says it's time to go. I got my plans, I don't know about you. I just did exactly what I have. Everybody's not here. Stay with my champagne glass. Where's your champagne glass? Oh, here's the, here's the, here's the glass. 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 Here's the you can see the blue light. Oh, is that why? Is that why there's only one box? Very special. Actually, I've been able to. At the very, very end of the sunset. There's that little blue Now, now the thing is, is that we think that the sun is setting, but reality is. Right behind you. Got to put it right behind you. Huh? Right here. Upside. The thing is, is that everything, Tell you what you want to drink, everything that is in front of us is moving. It is. Oh, absolutely. It is. The sun is really stationary. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Wow. Can you see the blue light? I can see it. Wow. Then you're, then you're blessed. 
Oh, I can see the blue light. It's, 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 it rises up from the sun, actually. The way Hi, it how are you? You're just in time for the sunset. energy and yes. electricity. Yes. And I think that's going to set me on the more focus on the path that I'm supposed to be on. Joe, your words of, an, of wisdom? Yeah, what I'm going to say is, is I'm going to say something about black men and I'm going to say something about black women. And then the world can use it as they've always stolen it to use it for their own purposes. And it's going to be in a poetic form. It says, if we must give in to defeat, let us not give in to the death call of hate or the lingering discontent of regret that only leaves behind no, painful memories. Husband, if we must give in to defeat, let us not pin each other against the wall in shame just to satisfy our ego or walk away without one smile for the many smiles we share. If we must give in to defeat, and truly, if we must give in to defeat, let us do it with the gracefulness of kings and queens and the humbleness of a child, giving thanks to God, yes, even for the pain. And may ours be the unknowing and the unselfish task of saying, wherever our roads may lead and whatever we both become, we'll never stop remembering our moments, our very special moments. And that's all I have to say. Huh? Very good. Your words. Hey, see what I was wearing? Yeah. I came, I came fresh. Everyone is giving their words of wisdom as we close out this film. God is a wonderful God, and I'm just happy about the fact that I'm in His divine plan and will. <laughs> and see, well, piggyback on Mr. Rod, we would be nothing without Him. <laughs> but we are created from Him, and we all return to Him on some great day. And we are very thankful for the fellowship that we have here among each other because we'll look back at this moment on this boat, on this ocean, and stand in glory behind it. Thank you. And I would like to say that it's just a marvelous event that we've shared today with such great people of God, great men and great women of God who have come to share their love, their camaraderie, their wisdom, they've relaxed, and we've all been able to sit down and just be who we are. God's in the spirit. God's seed is in us. His essence is in us. And we create as God creates. 
we enjoy as God enjoys. And as we speak to the universe, the universe falls at our feet and obey our commands. Because as we commanded this day to be relaxed in and to be able to enjoy Calvin and Siandra and Joe and Tanya and Avis and Dwight and the water and the sunset that God gave us. Only God could command this day. It was predestinated by him. And we thank you and we enjoy it. I gotta give one more. Dwight, you're the last. Oh, did you give me yours yet? What's that? Oh, did you give me your words? Yes, I did. Oh, okay. Okay, so we're gonna go down and look just above the wheel. Okay. And uh, all the little buttons and, and things there. Mm -hmm. There's a little button that says navigation lights or nav lights. N A V. Okay. Points. Okay, what do you want me to do? Turn them on. Turn them on. Because after after the dust, we're supposed to have lights. I'm coming to turn on the navigation lights. <laughs> Everybody, everybody friend? Yeah, oh, everybody yeah. fine, so sir. Let me, let me tell you, so, this is what, it, so what ends up happening is that um, that day when Dr. Abnath spoke at Morehouse and all of this happened, he, uh, after service was over with, they take him back into the dean's office of the chapel. So not sitting in one of those, um, one of those regal chairs, and he's sitting back, and students are coming by greeting him, right? And Doc is so cool, he laid back, and Rev just throwing his hand out like this. And everybody, right? Good to see you, bro. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Okay. So, so Doc is doing this, but lo and behold, who comes in but Dexter King and Isaac Ferris, which is uh, Dr. King's sister's son. Isaac was okay, a stupid with me. <laughs> so they come in. So they come into the office. So when they come in the office, you know, everybody in the movement, was in the movement of the era, they call everybody uncle and auntie. So they walk up to him, and they came up to him and he said, they want to the jump out of the plane, let me finish this. Okay, I'm embodied in the spirit okay. now. Come on, so when so when so when Dexter and Ray Isaac Ray come in, they say, Uncle Ralph, Uncle Ralph, mm -hmm. you did it today, Uncle Ralph. Uncle Ralph, you did it. Did I do it, son? <laughs> did I do it, boy? He said, Uncle Ralph, you turned it out in here. He said, I had to do it for your daddy. Mm -hmm. This is what he tells Dexter. This is what he tells he Dexter. Really did. And he